We're going to have a chat with uh, Jeffrey Rono, who is uh, one of the uh, main contenders for the Volkswagen Prague Marathon, which is coming up on Sunday. Now, Jeffrey um, has been described in some of the press releases as uh, one of last year's rising stars, and I think that's justified because he won the Olomouc half marathon, uh, beating Wilson Kipsang and Dennis Cometo uh, in the Czech Republic last summer, and uh, he's really looking to improve on his best for the marathon, which is only, well, I say only two hours 15. So, Jeffrey, um, big question. Has it all gone well in your preparations for the Prague Marathon on Sunday? Yeah, concerning my preparation to, uh, towards this Prague, it has been going on well. I have been uh, attaining all my targets while I'm training, and I'm therefore ready to, to run. And uh, in fact, I have no experience in marathon, but uh, this is my time. I am now trying to see my potential on it. Well, you, you say, yes, your experience in the marathon is limited. It, you've got a best of two hours 15, which these days is, well, it's not going to be regarded as amongst the super elite. But what you did last summer in the half marathon to beat both Wilson Kipsang, uh, the former marathon world record holder, and then Dennis Cometo, who uh, then went on to, to break the half, the, the full marathon record, is impressive. Um, you say meeting your targets in training. What does that mean exactly in terms of times or people that you train with? Yeah, it's uh, a matter of people I'm training with. Also concerning uh, time on training. Because uh, in every kind of a training, you have uh, a target time, especially on speed walks and uh, long runs. So I've been doing well. I've been attaining the set standard of training, so which is a good preparation for me. Do those indications suggest that you're in better shape now than a year ago, before you were going into Olomouc? And, and of course, uh, it's for well, just over a month ago that you, you ran and you finished eighth in the Prague Half Marathon, the end of March. So does that indicate that you've improved? Yeah, I have improved concerning uh, training uh, compared to what I did during a uh, half marathon on uh, in fact, I was recovering from uh, a back injury before coming to this uh, to to Prague half. So from then, I I recovered well and I joined a, I, I, I joined my group. I I, I go on with my training. So at now I'm fully recovered, fully prepared. So half was just only a training to me. In fact, I was using as a speed work. You talk about a back injury which has now recovered. We, we tend to think of the top Kenyans like you as being indestructible. <laughs> nothing, nothing hurts you. But of course, you get injuries. And well, how do you deal with them? I mean, these days, do you could have do you have good physio backup or do you rest? How do you how do you tackle an injury when it happens to you? Yeah, concerning injury, yeah, I got a good uh, physiotherapist. As, uh, my management sent me to one of the physicians who is in Kenya, uh, Tachiman. He gives me good treatment, good exercises. So from January, I've been attending him, and uh, it helps me a lot. He's a specialist, yeah. And you also mentioned you're in a very good training group. Uh, just give us a few more names of the, 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 the illustrious members of the training group. Yeah, one of it is a famous athlete, Wilson Kipsang. I also, in my group, there was Luca Kanda, who was also position two in Paris, uh, among others. Yeah. Wilson Kitsang is a very articulate guy, isn't he? I mean, has he been someone who's helped your career, encouraged you as you've gone along? I mean, not just the fact he's he's in the same training group, and but just as as a person. Yeah, Wilson Kitsang to me is my mentor. Yeah, I have been doing. I've been learning to him because he has experience. He has been a good guide to me. He has been telling me what to do, discipline, yeah, among others. You say discipline. Was discipline, training discipline, was that something you had to learn or did that come pretty easily for you? Yeah, of course, because uh, you might be doing some other things, but you, you, it might be adding your career. But when I am with uh, such kind of a man, I took his steps. I know I learned from what he's doing. Yeah, 
concerning recoveries, he told me after this workout, go and relax. Yeah, take your time. Wait for the next workout. Yeah, things like that. Well, let's just round off and think. Your marathon best is two hours 15. Uh, given your success in the last year, what do you think you're capable of? Um, we know it's a race. It's a strong quality race. It's not a time trial. It really is a race on Sunday in Prague. But what do you think you could be running right now? Uh, it will depend with uh, condition, weather conditions, yeah, and, and the competition. Yeah, the, uh, the tougher the competition, the better the chance of running a good time. And if the competition, say, is on course for like 206, something like that, you feel that you're in that kind of form now that you can you can be up there with people running 206 or faster? Of course, yes. Yeah, of course, yes. Well, you said it twice. There's no need <laughs> to press the point. Jeffrey Rono, uh, one of the main contenders for the Volkswagen Prague Marathon on Sunday. All the best, Jeffrey, and uh, we look forward to seeing you race on Sunday and uh, beyond that. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Thank you too. Thanks.